and now we could use git commit command in order to commit changes. But let's not commit changes at the moment and let's keep first file in staging area and let me talk now about commit outer name and email. When you commit changes, git adds automatically information about commit outer and outer email. And this information is stored in every commit object. And by the way, as I told you before, every commit object as any object in git has its unique SHA-1 hash. And here is example of the SHA-1 hash, but it's not complete SHA-1 hash, it's first six characters of specific SHA-1 hash of the commit object. Back on track. Every commit has outer name and email. And I told you before that git works locally on your computer. And that means that if you want to attach your name and your email to all commits you made, you need to configure them in git settings. Except outer name and email, each commit has commit description and also it has pointer to parent commit, commit that was created before. And that means that all commits are chained. Every new commit points to parent commit. Also commits might have more than one parent, for example, two parents or more. All right, now let's configure outer name and email on your computer if you haven't yet done that. And it's done using those commands, git config dash dash global user dot name and then your name. And second command git config dash dash global user dot email and your email. And those commands will set git outer name and outer email globally. That's what this option dash dash global stands for. Before actual configuration, you could verify whether outer name and email are already configured or not by entering such command as git config dash dash list. And let me start with that. Here in the terminal, let me enter git config dash dash list. And I see here such username as Bogdan Stashuk and user email bstashuk at gmail.com. And it means that I already entered those commands before and I configured user name and user email globally on my computer. If you see here empty lines, empty values, then you definitely need to set up username and user email like that. I could repeat same action and I could actually redo same configuration by entering those commands together with you and first command will be git config dash dash global outer dot name next will be my name Bogdan Stashuk like that and next command will be git config dash dash global outer dot email and my email be stashuk at gmail.com that's that email that I use as username at github. And by the way, if you already have github account or if you are planning to create one, I recommend to you enter here in those settings email that you are using or are going to use at github as username. So let me press enter and now let's verify git settings by entering previous command git config dash dash list like that. And I see username and user email. 